Hey everyone, my name is Morgan. Welcome to my channel. Today is going to be all about matcha and how to make the perfect matcha every single time. So the first thing we want to get into, if you don't know anything about matcha, matcha is a green tea that is filled with antioxidants and it's known to provide health benefits from weight loss to even preventing certain diseases. So for me, I love matcha because you get that energy but without the jitters that coffee might give you. So let's get into the ingredients and the tools that I'm going to be using so that you can make the perfect matcha just like me. So of course you're going to need the matcha powder. I personally use the Jade Leaf brand. You're going to need water, oat milk, sweetener a syrup of some sort you can use a zero calorie sweetener or a zero sugar sweetener or like me i use a salted caramel syrup you're also going to need ice and things that are optional that i'm going to be using are caramel and a cold foam which i make using hazelnut creamer for tools you're going to need of course a glass to put your matcha in i like to whisk my matcha powder in a separate glass and things that are optional are like a sifter and a frother if you choose to froth your cold foam like me you're going to need a glass to make that foam and you're also going to need a matcha whisk which will be down below if you guys are interested in checking out the whisk that i have so let's get started on how to make the best matcha i would never steer you guys wrong so let's go so as I'm waiting for the hot water to heat up I'm gonna be putting the matcha powder into the glass and this part is optional again with the sifter you don't have to use a sifter you can just put the matcha powder directly into the bowl but the sifter is just gonna allow the powder to break up a little bit more so that the matcha is smoother so this is the amount of matcha that I will be using just gonna literally put it directly into the sifter and allow that powder to loosen up through the sifter so once that water is nice and hot you can then add it to the matcha powder and this is like I said it's about one half of a cup and I do like to give this a really good whisk because the matcha powder can be powdery and if you don't whisk it, then you're gonna taste that powder within the drink. So let's set this aside for a second while we make our cold foam. Again, this part is optional. You don't have to make a cold foam, but I like the cold foam for the top of my drink, so let's get that out of the way. I'm gonna be using the hazelnut creamer. You can probably use any creamer for this of your choosing. And you really do not need a lot in order to get that foamy effect. So let's get this foamed up. <laughs> So foam is all done, now let's get the drink actually going. I like to start by lining my cup with that caramel just to give it that extra flavor. This definitely reminds me of a good Starbucks drink. And let's put the ice in it. The ice is in, now let's add this oat milk. Definitely wanna give it a good shake. And I do not fill the oat milk all the way up to the top because you wanna have room for the matcha and you also wanna have room room for the cold foam. This is where you can add that optional sweetener. Again, I like to use a salted caramel syrup. Pour that directly into it. Then let's add our matcha. I made a mess. <laughs> so as that matcha is settling, I'm just gonna take my straw, give it a good mix. Then I'm gonna add my cold foam to the top. Just for a little extra razzle dazzle, I'm gonna add a little bit of caramel to the top and we're all done. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my video. I hope that you guys try this. Let me know in the comments if you make yours a different way and I will see you guys next time. Bye.